Dr. Doreen Grandpiche is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grandpiche. Dr. Grandpiche. Dr. Doreen Grandpiche. Dr. Doreen Grandpiche is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Dark Angel says, now that my son uh, is five, I'm terrified that soon he will be in grade one with regular kids. How do I get over this anxiety that is uh, earing me up? What a great situation to be in, yes. first of all. But um, I understand your anxiety. A lot of parents have anxiety about entering kind of the regular world, I guess, or putting their child in regular ed. I think you had these same oh, anxieties. I, I bought binoculars because my plan was to <laughs> sit in the car and watch him <laughs> through the binoculars on a daily basis. I know. I know. And I think we had, like, you had a lot of feedback from your team telling you to back off. I mean, I did for many years yes. too, but yeah. so I think that it's a very typical thing and it's, Great parenting, honestly, to be that concerned. But, you know, you have come this far and think about how well he has done. Um, and you'll see as you start to put him in grade one, uh, you'll see the positive changes that come about and that will help you uh, overcome some of this anxiety. Now, I kind of want to also remind you of, I don't know how many people, you know, I'm a big believer that you can throw into the universe energy that will make things go in the right path, right? I don't know how many people here have seen the, 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 the um, or read the book, The Secret, right, you know? Right, right. This is all about, like, try to turn your anxiety into positive thoughts. Whenever you have a negative thought, turn it around and envision what you would consider to be the perfect scenario, the perfect thing that can happen. It'll calm you down, and honestly, it'll start to come to reality, right? So start thinking of the positive things that are going to happen for him in grade one. Can I just say, I loved The Secret. I did too. But, but so many people watch the movie The Secret and didn't make it. They, they'll go, I didn't like it. And I would always say to them, they were like, it's so materialistic, and it's like, I want a Lamborghini. And, all, and I said, I always say to them, did you watch to the end of the movie? There's something that happens in the last 30 seconds of the movie that most people don't stick around for that tells you what the secret is. Right. And they don't stick around for it. And I was like, you missed the whole thing. Oh, they, okay. They revealed it in the last. <laughs> so if you're going to look at the secret, you've got to watch to the last, yeah. the very last millisecond second. I mean, and honestly, it's really just about like turning your negative thoughts into positive thoughts. It's about being happy. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and that there is this idea that we, you know, Abraham Lincoln say most people are as happy as they make up their minds to be. Yes. Abraham yes. Lincoln said that. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. And that's the thing that, that the secret is really about, is about that's being right. happy. Now, for some people, that's a Lamborghini. For a lot of us, it's not. Yes. We want our kids to succeed. Yes. And so, you know, I, I love when I go to these conferences, they talk about this a lot that, you know, as parents, we all want our kids to be independent. And, and this is like a big driving force for us. We want our kids to do as well as they possibly can. But then we have this other thing going on where we want our kids to be safe. And we don't want anybody to pick on our kids. So true. And we don't want anything bad to happen. And these two things go boom, 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 boom. Absolutely endlessly. right. Endlessly. And, you know, for me, I had to work on that to slowly let that apron string out. I'm still working on it. But I, I was talking with a relative that's visiting, and she was like, it's so impressive that, you know, you're like, I re she said, let's think about it. It was five years ago that Temple Grandin had to force you in a restaurant to let him go to the men's room by himself for the first time. Was it really? He threw me under the bus to Temple Grandin. He was like, she won't let me go to the men's room by myself. And Temple dressed me up and down and was like, he's doing it right now. And I was clutching the booth in this restaurant going, yeah. what? And she was like, no, this, you're going to sit right here and this is how this is going to happen. It was five years ago, and, you know, now he's going away on trips of course. to other places yes. with his friends. Yes. Did I think that we could get there? No. Yeah. And I was talking about, you know, he's going to be moving out. Uh, I don't have a date on that, but it'll happen soon. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the relative was like, who are you and what have you done with Shannon's body? Uh. So I say to you, I'm the woman who had been purchased binoculars because I planned to watch every single day of kindergarten from my car 
across the street. No, I know. It can I, happen for you, totally, Dark Angel. You totally. can get there. And it will happen. You just have to keep thinking positive thoughts. It'll happen. Yes, yes. And and balance that thing. Remember that you do want independence for your child. Yes. And don't try to negate that you want them to be safe. Also, those are real things, but they're both valuable. And also remember, again, the topic that we're talking about here that anxiety that you're experiencing is bad for you. Yep. That's also very important to remember that you need to turn that around, right? And you need to calm that anxiety. There's so many really good apps and tools out there right now. I just bought a headphone, Shannon, that it's not even a headphone. It's like a thing that you put on your... Have you seen is this? Is it the bone conductor one? No, it's no. called Muse. Okay. And you put it on your head like this, and it has these receptors in it. It's biofeedback. Okay. And you basically have... You then... It's on your phone, right? And you can look at it, and you they, it's it gives you, like, meditation sounds and so on, oh. but it's... It, intensifies if you start to get distracted oh. so that in other words listen Does to me alarm go off? no it, it just becomes louder <laughs> i see so it's kind of like pay attention to the sounds of the ocean okay. more All right. and then when you calm your thoughts it just go, becomes kind of background oh. and it's really fabulous wow. stuff i thought god i should try this out on some of my kids and see if they can manage it yeah absolutely uh, that sounds very exciting. We it's so weird, but we had one Christmas. What Jem asked for, they had this Star Wars game that was like Jedi mind control. Yeah, and it was similar. It was a headband with receptors, and you had to concentrate on the ball. And if you concentrate, you could make the ball go up. Wow, he loved it. That's amazing. He absolutely loved it. And then they did away with the toy. Oh my god! You know, I hate that when they do that. Don't forget, you can watch Ask Dr. Doreen live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. We hope to see you there.